The government would like us to believe that it had the pensions issue all tied up, but this 48-hour strike in South West Scotland could be a sign of what's to come. Unison says the SNP government has the power to adopt less expensive increases to staff contribution rates in the new NHS pension scheme. The Scottish Health Secretary opened the specialist sterilisation unit here only last week. This week they're on strike, calling on her government to begin direct negotiations on the contribution rates. Mainly it's for impact, just to let the government know that we're serious about this. Not just the pension, it's the whole issue surrounding the pensions. Uh, the length of time we need to work, uh, so far it's up to 68 years old and I can't imagine anybody working in my unit at 68. Ministers in Scotland have published those plans today, but Unison says it's done the maths on an alternative. We know how much this would cost. We equally know how much we can suggest to them can be saved in the running of the health service to offset these costs. We believe that we can sit down with Scottish Government and examine the books, as it were, and we believe that we can point them in directions. There have already been, with the cooperation of the workforce, significant savings made in the running of the health service. And again, as I say, we believe that we can find alternatives to this. With more direct action of this kind planned by Unison and other unions preparing for a second national strike on the 28th, scenes like this look like spreading from this corner of Scotland to every corner of the UK. Pete Murray, Union News in Ayrshire.